Hi, I'm Gail Rubin, the doyen of death, with today's Mortality Minute. Today's book review is of Caitlin Doty's new book, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? The world needs more death educators like Caitlin Doty. She is an actual mortician. She's what I call a millennial mortician because she's in her 30s currently. She has the wickedest sense of humor. And she is a New York Times bestselling author. Her first book was Smoke Gets In Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory. Her second book, <laughs> From Here to Eternity, Searching the World to Find the Good Death. And I know Caitlin. We uh, have actually run into each other at National Funeral Director Association conventions. Uh, she actually provided a book uh, blurb for my book, Kicking the Bucket List, 100 Downsizing and Organizing Things to Do Before You Die. Her quote was, the connection between downsizing and death acceptance has never been more obvious. Clear your mind and conscience by sucking it up and do the things Gail suggests. So thank you, Caitlin, for that quote. <laughs> In her new book, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs, the subtitle is Big Questions from Tiny Mortals About Death. She gets questions from what she calls free-range kids and answers them throughout the book. Each chapter is a different question. And in her introduction, she says, we can't make death fun, but we can make learning about death fun. Death is science and history, art, and literature. It bridges every culture and unites the whole of humanity. So she does a great job of weaving all of those elements into answering these kids' questions. So let's start with that first question. When I die, will my cat eat my eyeballs? No, your cat won't eat your eyeballs. Not right away, at least. <laughs> Don't worry, Snickers McMuffin hasn't been biding his time, glaring at you from behind the couch, waiting for you to take your last breath to be all, Spartans, tonight we dine in hell! <laughs> for hours, even days after your death, Snickers will expect you to rise from the dead and fill his normal food bowl with his normal food. He won't be diving straight for the human flesh, but a cat has got to eat, and you are the person who feeds him. <laughs> this is a cat-human uh, compact. Death does not free you from performing your contractual obligations. <laughs> and then she skips down and says, why would my beloved do that, you ask? Let's keep in mind that as much as you adore your domesticated Meowkins, that sucker is an opportunistic killer that shares 95.6% of its DNA with lions. <laughs> Cats in the United States alone slaughter up to 3.7 billion, that's with a B, uh, birds every year. If you count other cute little animals like mice, rabbits, and bulls, the death toll might rise to 20 billion. This is an abject massacre, a bloodbath of adorable forest creatures perpetrated by our feline overlords. <laughs> Mr. Cuddlesworth, a sweetheart, you say? He watches TV with me. No, ma'am, Mr. Kettlesworth is a predator. So that's the kind of humor she brings to these questions about death. Uh, another question is, can we give grandma a Viking funeral? <laughs> Did grandma want a Viking funeral? <laughs> if so, your grandma mother sounds rad, and I wish I'd known her. I'm afraid I have some terrible news. <laughs> Not only is grandma dead, but Viking funerals, or at least the Hollywood version of them, aren't real. You're picturing grandma, the fallen warrior, 
Uh, her shrouded body laid solemnly on her wooden boat. Your aunts push the noble craft into the sea. Your mom draws a bow. A flaming arrow arcs through the sky and hits grandma and sets her alight. She burns as bright in death as she did, did in life. Alas, fake, fake, fakety fake. And it's true. In fact, I have done presentations uh, called The Viking Funeral on film. That visual imagery of the flaming arrow, the sea send off, it comes from The Vikings, a 1958 film starring Kirk Douglas and Tony Curtis. And yes, Douglas is the Viking who dies and gets that great, brilliant send off that everybody thinks is a Viking funeral. But in fact, as Caitlin says in the book, this uh, is not true because yes, there was cremation, but they would pull the boat out of the water and burn it on land. It takes a long time and a lot of firewood to cremate a human body. And putting it on a boat out to sea with flaming arrows isn't going to cut it. In fact, there is, even before the Vikings, there was Beau Gest, which is a 1936 film. And there are, it starts out with our, our uh, guys who go to uh, into the Foreign Legion, Gary Cooper, Ray Milan, Robert Preston, their kids playing with a boat and they set the boat on fire. So this was the origin of the Viking funeral idea of a burning boat actually on the water. So back to Caitlin's book, Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs? Wonderful book, great to add to your library of knowledge about death and those questions that may arise, highly recommend that you get it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you would like to hear book reviews of other death-related books, put it in the comments below, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get to see the next one as soon as it comes out. I'm Gail Rubin, the doyen of death, reminding you, just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking about funerals and end-of-life issues won't make you dead. Start a conversation today.